hello folks welcome along to the channel i am the custard prophet and we're back here with some more trucking action with the custard haulers um we are taking a delivery of cars from um tirana in albania we're going to go all the way to rome um capital of italy for those who didn't know <laughs> you'd hope, hope hope there wouldn't be many of you um and we're going to be getting an achievement by doing that. So uh, we'll talk about all that in a second. Um, but this will be our farewell look, I think, at Italy. We might be back to do some of the kind of weird-looking roads. Why Why is my vehicle malfunctioning? I, I think we might need to go and uh, go and visit a, um, a car doctor, as they call them. And there's one just here. So uh, let's let's go and do that. I hope you enjoyed my little um, look at the uh, the hidden roads in in Albania. I think that was really really enjoyable to do. Oh, here we go. Hopefully we can turn around down here, not crash. Looks like it's a a maybe route round here. Right, let's let's fix her up. We fix the uh, fix the truck up. Right, how can we turn this around? I might have just reversed down there or something. Don't crash into them. <sighs> Who's beeping at me? Someone is. Right, is that a dog? That's a that's a kennel, isn't it? Randomly there. So, right, we've done that. We've got a nice new truck. Are you gonna let me out or just um, so uh, yeah, so the achievement we're going for to complete is the uh, many roads lead to Rome achievement, and we're got three out of four of the roads that we need to travel on to to collect that, uh, and we just need to go uh, from the the base of Rome to to that. Uh, so we sorry, that makes no sense. We just need to go from the um, the bottom of uh, the road going to the the south of Rome, and that will be that done. We're going over this one because I've not done this in with a truck behind me. This is one of the hidden roads I was showing you. This is probably a really bad idea, but I was thinking of actually because there was that one hidden road which looks impassable with a um, with a big trailer on. I thought, shall I go back and do that? In the end, I thought, no, no, I won't do that because it's just going to take forever. But you know, I think this was worth it. Right, you, you're gonna, you're gonna go. Of course you are. And here we go. Nicely done, folks. Right, so we've got to go. Let's have a look at the map, and we'll see what we are actually up to. So we're going over the ferry to Bari, across this road, which we've travelled a few times in the past, up through or towards Rome. We've been. Um, into Rome for this road, this road, and this road. Those are three of the hidden. Uh, there are three of the roads required for this, and the final one is arriving via this road. We've only left Rome via that route. Um, you can see there's still quite a few roads that are unexplored uh, in in Italy, and it gives us a chance to come back and maybe explore some of those fun roads. You know, look at this one as well. That one looks a cool one, maybe. But one of the things. So what we, what I'm planning to do, is I'm planning to head up to this area and also in Scandinavia as well. We've there are a few, uh, quite a few achievements in the Scan in Scandinavia that we haven't uh, explored and we have not explored this region at all. There's lots and lots of achievements to do, um, and I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, we will come back to, to look at uh, the, the Going East um, DLC at some point. And obviously there's this elephant in the room down there. I did think about going over there, but I thought actually this might be quite fun. And finally, we'll end up in Finland, uh, which is what we've been threatening to do for a long time. And I will then put a garage uh, in whichever Finnish uh, city it was. Um, that Kim Reinkinen had said he wanted me to put one in. I can't remember which one it is. I'll have to look, have to look back. But if you want to drop a, a comment just to remind me which one it was, uh, I will do that. But uh, yeah, that will be fun. And 
off we go, off we go. So uh, I'll get to the ferry and then I'll see you as we're um, getting on the ferry and um, going over to uh, to Bari. Should be a good one, I think. Right, here we are, folks. Turning in to the uh, ferry car park. Um, oh, there is that, is that, that. I think that's got me before. You... Some of these barriers are really quite hard to see. And I think right ahead of us there is the ferry we're getting on to, so uh, to take us over to Italy. Another barrier to go through. And we will be in there momentarily uh, to have our, what was it, 14, 15, no, 139 mile ferry journey to get over there. Uh, so we've got 274 miles on land and the whole journey itself is supposed to take us about 15 hours including the ferry journey so uh, that is all good right uh, should we go somewhere random <laughs> just to make it harder for ourselves we'll go there we'll go there 420 euro ferry I think it's going to be dark yes it's 9 o'clock uh, when we get here, we'll probably have a little sleep. We don't really need to, but it's always a bit more fun. How am I here? It seems like I've been thrown out. Right, come on. God, that was good driving. If I don't say so myself, we're going, we're going right here, right? Okay. All right, folks, we're going to drive through Bari. I don't think there's anything exciting going on there. Uh, where the heck are we going now? Right this way, and then presumably down here, uh, and then. Yeah, it's not. It's just a six-hour journey to get there. Pretty straightforward. I want to talk a little bit about our plans going forward. I sort of mentioned them to some degree, but I think it's perhaps a little more complex than that. So we'll talk about those on route. I uh, also want to talk about maybe potential timelines for some of the uh, the DLCs or, or up uh, or reworks that uh, have been announced. Um, so we'll we'll talk about that as well and. Um, anything else that comes in my mind so I'll see you a little bit further down the road oh, oh I think we've <laughs> I think we may have caused somewhat of a, a chaotic situation here right okay I uh, I accidentally thought that was a two lane road but thankfully nothing pulled up alongside me and that car gave me enough room to go through but yeah that was a, a, a little bit on the embarrassing side uh yeah as i say we've got a a big old road ahead of us uh we'll we'll do a bit of driving probably a bit of night driving initially and so uh, we'll get that done and then uh have a little rest probably about halfway and when we're doing that we'll probably come back and uh sure. Jesus, and have a have a think about uh, some of the things we were talking about earlier. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> okay, we are still going. I don't actually think we do need to stop, which is which is nice. We we have no issues with sleep at the minute. Um, we just picked up a. We were just speeding slightly. The the the, um, the speed limit changed briefly, and there was a police car literally sitting and waiting for. For people like me who didn't notice that um, so we got uh, we're nine miles now over the limit so I think it's about 400 um, uh, 400 euro uh, fine which is a little bit annoying but we've just uh, alongside Napoli at the minute um, just going past there we'll have I mean Vesuvius would be not too far away from us if we if it was daytime you can sort of see we're doing some uh, doing some good driving. I'll show you where we are on the map. So Vesuvius is here, and we're just going to be now pushing up 
along the coast past Casino, which we uh, picked up uh, last time in the last episode, um, all the way into Rome. So let's, as we're, we're we're driving up this way, and I did have a slight insight because I wanted to take a screenshot for a thumbnail. Obviously, you can't really do that very well in the dark um, because it would just be a very dark screenshot. So I, I, I lightened it and I did it all in the photo mode. But when I came back, because it was all so dark, I couldn't tell initially which way was front. And so I'd been, when you're in photo mode, that basically also moves which way you're looking in the cab when you come back in the game. So essentially, I was looking back in the cab, but I couldn't see that. And um, yeah, I couldn't figure out where front, where the where the windscreen was. I couldn't see anything. I thought, oh no, I'm going to crash. Thankfully, it was a very very straight bit of road. But uh, yeah, could have been could have been an absolute disaster. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the upcoming DLCs, upcoming updates, and things like that. We've heard. Well, we know Greece, in terms of DLCs, is coming next, and we've heard about potential um, reworks to Switzerland and also to central Germany as well. Um, and we know that we get, we're getting, uh, well, fairly soon, the uh, update for uh, 1.50, where we're going to get the Scania test centre. No idea what else is going to come up in that. But I'm wondering when, when, I, when is, when do we expect to see um, these kind of changes? Uh, when, 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 when can we expect to see Greece in your mind? Have you seen anything on that or some of these reworks? What, when do we, when do we expect to see any of these things next? Are we going to expect to see any of this in the new, um, new update? Um, are we going to expect it, or is it just going to be the test centre and maybe a few other bits and pieces? Um, I'd love to get your thoughts on that. I mean, part of the reason we are heading up into Scandinavia and the uh, uh, was it the Road to the Balkans? I can't remember the the DLC name, but the that that area that we're beyond the Balkans, isn't it? Um, reason we're going up there is because I'm thinking 1.50 will drop soon. I do want to go and check out the Scania test centre because you are able to drive around it, which sounds uber cool. The, you know, going around a test track does sound very, very nice. So we'll be, we'll certainly be doing that. I also, on the way up there, want to drop in in Austria because what we've done so far in Austria, if you look up here, we have uh, had a little look in. Um, Innsbruck, uh, Salzburg, uh, Klagenfurt, and, and Verdensee, Gra uh, Graz. But there's this whole part of Austria and a load of photo opportunities. And remember, this has all been reworked that we haven't seen at all. So along the way, we will be dropping in and having a look over this. And then we'll be having a nice long drive. We'll probably pick a really nice long drive up to one of these cities in uh, either um, Finland um, Estonia, Latvia, or Lithuania. So we'll get we'll get all the way up there. So that's the plan. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, do, you, uh, do you is it a good idea to kind of go up there? Because I think I don't expect Greece to drop any time soon, and I'm not sure that there is going to be new driving content in the update other than the Scania uh, factory. I'm not sure whether we'll see that sort of rework in middle Germany that they were talking about. That's a possibility but we wouldn't be a million miles away from that and we'd certainly have a look around that. We'd have a, a drop down into Germany. Uh, shouldn't be hard to get down there. Um, but love to get your thoughts on, on all of those things, um, especially where, what you think the kind of roadmap is for the delivery of some of these uh, these things. What what your what your thoughts on what's coming first or the order that we might see some of these things? Love to hear uh, about that. And uh, yeah, if if there's some really nice ideas there, I will be talking about those in the next episode. Hope you're also enjoying the slightly less frequent episodes. Um, so it's. It's a little bit less burdensome for you to to watch the content rather than 
two episodes every three uh, every six days we've got one episode every seven days at least for the foreseeable future uh, we'll be going back to a more sensible timeline once uh, gas station simulator has finished on the channel so uh, hopefully you'll be looking forward to that anyway we're just one hour 33 away 62 miles away so i'll see you in a little bit when we get into rome And there we go, folks. We've just come through a toll just south of Rome, 82 uh, euros, quite an expensive one. And there is the many roads lead to Rome achievement. So that's really nice to have that completed. Another achievement in the books. And that is all the achievements uh, that are in the Italia DLC we have completed. So. That feels pretty good as well. Uh, I really enjoyed Italy. It's been been a lot of fun. Didn't quite know what to expect. Uh, I'd seen some bad things about Italy, some poor kind of reviews of of Italy, but not not sure what people were expecting. I've really enjoyed parts of it. Uh, I think some of it is it's a bit generic, but there's, some of the cities are very nice. I, mean, I thought Napoli was lovely. Um, the, uh, certainly some of the islands were really nice as well to drive around they were a lot of fun um, and, and there's a lot of variety in the, in the cities that are, are present so uh, I think all in all it is a it's a nice place to to drive some cool jobs uh, none of the achievements are particularly onerous which is interesting they certainly if you look at the Iberia uh, DLC, the, the achievements there, there's a lot of kind of really involved things where you've got to do multiple uh, types of trips. So, uh, but Italy, yeah, it was, you know, most of them were fairly easy or, or, or associated with an interesting location like the, uh, the the marble quarries, that was fantastic, love that. Um, and apparently, I did. I didn't. I don't think I uh, mentioned this. Uh, I was told. I think it was Men Megatron Reception who mentioned that you can actually get a marble um, delivery out of that location, uh, which I did not realise. So I would have absolutely done that. Although we did need to go. I think I, I can't remember quite what we what I decided to do there. I thought I think I needed to go into France, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I would have, um, I'd have definitely done that if I'd have noticed. I think, unless it had been going to like four hundred thousand miles. Anyway, folks, yeah, I mean, we've we've seen a lot of Rome. I think we've explored pretty much the majority of Rome. Not particularly enamoured with the way the city is portrayed. I think this is not the best version of the city of, of uh, as cities go. When you look at what other cities look like. You know, I would like to see a little bit more of the actual the, the buildings that are, are present. I, I don't know why those wouldn't be included. I had I had a similar feeling about Paris. It sort of felt like it. Well, why is that? Why have we not got any of the really like classical landmarks? And I think one of the things I was wondering about. Can we go down there? No. Is whether it was whether the whether there was some intellectual property that stopped. Uh, issue that stopped um, SCS from from doing that, which might well be the case. Right, let's see. We're here. I mean, let's just let's just park it, park him up, and get on our way. And then we'll have a think about because we want next up to be going north, and that's going to be north into Austria. There we go. job done 277 miles one hour 46 minutes not sure that's the case it felt quite a swift drive 35 minutes in um, or at least I've been recording so let's just have a quick look at where we could potentially go from here we're looking to head north towards Austria ideally Linz or Vienna so what have we got anything? We could go all the way up to Urubre for 83,000 euros. That would be a big one. There we go. We've actually got a drive to Vienna there. 
that would be a that would be the perfect one. I can't can't pick it up because um, uh, yeah, I've got other things to do today. But um, that would be it's good to see that they go there because as far as I can tell, each city has kind of a, a set of locations that you can go to, and it feels like some locations aren't you aren't able to go to the from from every city i don't know whether that's the case i've i've been wondering about actually kind of doing a little bit of research on this as to see whether you know just keep an eye on which locations go or which locations you can go to from a specific city and see if it how varied that is over time maybe maybe people know this already if they if you do and you've got some sort of source you can point me to that would be that would be awesome anyway folks i hope you enjoyed the drive if you did please hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you're new, and uh, let me know if you're excited for our next adventures, which will be, first of all, up in Austria, and then heading up into this region here, where we will be going to Finland, Russia, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and probably across the border into Sweden as well, to drive around the Scania test track when it arrives. That'll do then, folks. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.